There, you got a funny noise, no agitation. Okay, let's see if we can fix this one. Not agitating down there. No action. Okay, get the panel off. Get this tight squeeze that drip trays into the floor. Not much room to work with. So if we feel back here and feel the drive coupler, that could be the problem. Let's take a look, set this camera up here. This thing. Oh, it feels like it's on. It's good. I think the transmission's shot. Unfortunately. Okay, so here we go again. So this is steel sleeved drive club coupler and it's stripped. It may have stripped the motor as well, unfortunately. Um, so I've talked about this before. This is basically a fuse. By sticking a steel sleeve in this, somebody has undermined the fuse. So basically, when the machine gets overloaded, the plastic part is designed to break. When you put that steel sleeve in there, and basically what it does, it rounds out the spline in there and or the motor. If it's round out the spline on the motor or the transmission, then you have to replace the motor and or the transmission. So, plot thickens, right? I don't know if we can see this or not. I can't. I'm going to have to disconnect the wires, but you can see... That motor shaft may be uh, rounded out. It may not be. That shaft is probably good because it's. I can feel the tension on the transmission. Okay, so you can see the spline on this motor is rounded out. So instead of having to buy a $5 drive coupler, you have to buy a $80 motor because you put that MacGyver hack drive coupler in. So you gotta be careful with these capacitors too. They may be loaded and they may be corroded. And if they're corroded they'll fall apart if you wiggle the wires too much. So I'm gonna have to look for a motor for this one. Because that spline is pretty much shot on that one. And a new water pump because it looks like it's been leaking. No puddles but we got a drip coming out of it already so yeah, this one's going to be a little bit of the work, a little bit of a job. Yeah, so I did have an extra motor. And you can see this is, that's the steel, steel sleeved drive coupler. And it rounds out, and then it also rounds out the shaft on the motor and or the shaft on the transmission. If you're lucky, it would round out the shaft on the motor. Um... Not so lucky, we round out the shaft on the transmission. So, now we had a little excess water in here, we had to drip it in here. And I'd put another water pump on it, and hopefully it'll be good. Okay, so, here's a look at that worn out motor shaft. This worn out motor shaft, you can see it's kind of like, almost egg shaped. This is a good one. This one has a clear spline on it. You can see the clear splines, basically. And so this one's going to be worn out. I'm going to try and repair it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to JB weld a coupler on there. I'll clean it up real good. And then JB weld a coupler on there. <clears throat> and then this one here, if you pull out on the shaft and it's sloppy, then uh, you know the motor's starting to go. So this one here, if I pull here, you can see the, unfortunately this water pump is stuck on. Sometimes you got to bust these off to get them off. Uh, spray a little penetrant in there to get it off. This one was the leaker. Um, so yeah, if you pull on this, you can see that the motor shaft, it kind of goes back and forth right here. You can see that. And this one's starting to go out. So, you know, good time to get a new motor, right? 
Okay, working on another coin op. So this has got a plastic drive coupler. This is the drive coupler that's supposed to be on this thing. And the motor side cracked, right? This side's still good. Um, so this is basically the fuse, right? Somebody does a big load, crack, right? You're gonna not not let them gonna do it, right? You put that steel one on there, you're gonna put pressure on that shaft and round that shaft off, either that shaft or that shaft on the transmission. And so that's why I'd rather use these. Um, if you do use the steel one, I would use the steel one on the motor shaft and the plastic one on the motor. So hope this help you guys. If you need any help, contact me, 707-443-8347, Pacific Time. Phone advice, 39 bucks. Also, check on my How to Make Money in the Appliance Repair Business training course. I take two new students per year, and uh, let me know if you're interested. Coin out tip for today. Thanks for watching.